This is the Creative Funding Show, a podcast for authors, YouTubers, and podcasters who want to fund the work they love without selling out. Welcome to the Creative Funding Show. In this episode, we're going to talk about how to set up a Patreon page. I'm, of course, Thomas Umstadt, and this episode is going to be a little bit different because I'm going to record it in stages as I go through the process of creating the Patreon page for the Creative Funding Show. So I realize this is a bit meta, but I'm going to go through the step myself and then uh, re-record uh, on this track what I've learned, what my thoughts were, what the process was like. So you can go along the journey with me as I create a Patreon Patreon page. Now, I've kind of done this before when we did the Novel Marketing Podcast. James Rubart, my co-host, did a lot of the setup. I did some of the setup. And so this will be my first time to create a Patreon page from scratch. So you're going to get to go through that process with me. So we'll see how this goes. I I hope it'll be fun. I hope you enjoy it. And I hope we all learn something. All right, this is uh, Thomas from the future. I assume at this point, or when I first recorded it, that you already have a Patreon account. So I just go straight into editing my Patreon account. If you don't have a Patreon account already, uh, the first step is to go and create one, which you can do. I actually have an affiliate link. If you create an account through my link, you'll get some bonus money. Uh, So it's creativefunding.show forward slash Patreon affiliate link. I'll have a link to it in the show notes. And how this works is that based off of how many patrons you get in the first 30 days, we both get a bonus. So it starts off at $50, you get an extra 50 bucks. I get an extra 50 bucks and it goes all the way up to 500 if you have a super successful show. So this is one of the ways that I'm funding this show is with affiliates, uh, one of which is with Patreon. You can create uh, that new account using the affiliate link by going to creativefunding.show forward slash Patreon affiliate link. Okay, so the first thing I did was I went to settings for my profile and changed my name. Uh, so I've changed my name from Thomas Umstadt to Creative Funding Show, and I'm on the settings page. And so far, it's pretty straightforward. I uploaded my album artwork. I need to create a cover image, so I've left that blank for now. I uploaded the Facebook URL and the Twitter handle uh, in the category of putting podcasting, so it's pretty straightforward. And I've reserved patreon.com slash creative funding show for the URL. Uh, no adult content. And yes, we're going to have a custom RSS feed. So, so far, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, it's just kind of uh, paint by numbers, filling in the gaps. We'll see if things get a little more complicated here in a second. All right, I just finished the about section. Uh, this is probably the shortest page so far. And if I remember correctly, it's the shortest page period. But that doesn't make it easy. This is where uh, you describe your podcast or your project, whatever it is. And, you know, this is always hard. You know, how do you describe uh, your your own work and how do you do that efficiently? So I just put uh, the Creative Funding Show is a podcast for creators who want to make a living doing what they love using platforms like Patreon and Kickstarter. This uh, Patreon page will be uh, how we fund the show and it will also be where we experiment with ideas and suggestions of our guests. If you want to learn how to use Patreon better, consider backing this page. Thank you so much. This isn't great, this text that I just wrote. Uh, I'll probably make it better uh, moving forward. And I think that's an important point uh, with all of this. I think it's really easy for us to allow the perfect to become the enemy of the good. And with a lot of the projects I found, it's better to just launch with what you have and then improve it based off of feedback and analytics rather than keeping it to yourself, so to speak. Uh, And then the second part, and this again uh, plays to probably my biggest weakness uh, with this whole project, process is the intro video. I'm very comfortable on audio. I've done radio before. Video is not a strength for me. So some of you listening uh, are YouTubers. Th- you'll be just the opposite, right? The video will be the easiest part of doing the Patreon because you're on camera every day or or all the time. Uh, for me, I'm not on camera that often. Mostly what I record are courses. And so this is a little you know, uncomfortable. I'll play the audio uh, from the video. I kept it very short. Uh, you can listen to it. But again, I'm not seeing this video as something that I'm committed to. I'm probably going to update it in the future. You'll notice I don't really talk about the rewards all that carefully, and that's because, one, I want to be able to change the rewards as we experiment with stuff, and two, as I'm recording this, I don't know what the rewards are going to be, so I'm a little vague on purpose. So let's uh, roll the audio for the YouTube video. I'm Thomas Umstadt Jr. with the Creative Funding Show, and you have reached our Patreon page. That's right, the show about Patreon has a page 
on Patreon so we can practice what we preach. This page is where we're going to give you some really cool rewards, which you can see below, but it's also where we're going to be experimenting with the ideas and suggestions from the guests who come on the show. This is our laboratory for excellent Patreon, and if there's one thing I've learned about experimentation is that some experiments fail. So if you want to watch the adventure to see what works and what doesn't work, I encourage you to back this page and join us on the wild ride that is funding creativity. We'll be doing it for our podcast, helping you do it for your YouTube channel, your book, or maybe a podcast of your own. Thank you so much for checking out this page and for backing the show. You'll notice that that's very similar to the text that I had on the page. I see these as being kind of the same message told different ways. Uh, not everyone's going to watch the video. Not everyone is going to read the text. So I didn't want to put any critical information in one that wasn't also in the other. So now I'm on the rewards tab. I had to make some decisions when it came to rewards. And this is really where I, I recommend that you don't start your Patreon with the start of your show. Normally, how I would pick rewards is based off of listener feedback and what people like. And, you know, we'd survey our listeners and give them more of that. Since I'm doing this before a single show is going live, I have no idea uh, what you like and what you don't like. Uh, so I'm doing this the hard way. Uh, but I have two levels uh, to start off. One is watch the experiment. It's called Watch the Experiment, and it's $1 per creation. So that's going to be $1 per episode or about $4 a month for the text. I have get the patron only updates and the patrons only Q and a episode. Now, part of me wants to put the Q and a episode and lock that behind a goal. Uh, so like once we have a hundred dollars a month, then we unlock the patrons only Q and a episode. Uh, the reason for that is if only five people back this or one person, like if my mom's my only backer, I'm not going to have enough questions for a Q and a episode. And that's a lot of work for not a lot of rewards. So I think I'm going to retool this and add plus additional rewards to come. I realize that's not a lot of an incentive, but our second level I think is a little more appealing and it's the featured patron level and it's everything in the $1 level plus having your Patreon page featured on the creative funding show so if you're wanting to get the word out about your patreon page this is the way to do it i have this one limited so it's limited to 16 patrons at this level we had a level like this with the novel marketing podcast it was a very popular level and the way we're doing it there and i'm doing it the same way here is that it's once per quarter we will have uh, if you want your page featured, and that's $20. And I think that will help us to get to our goal. One of the things I've learned about Patreon is that often a lot of your money comes from a handful of people. And so it's important to have high level reward levels so that encourage people to donate. And you'll have people donate beyond your highest level tier. So right now, we, our top patron at Novel Marketing has donated over twice what the highest tier currently available is. Uh, this is kind of a higher tier, $20 per podcast episode. That's going to be $80 a month. That's a lot of money. But I'm hoping that some folks will want to back at that to help make the podcast a reality. Also, uh, patrons can limit the monthly amount. So even though it's $20 per podcast, they could limit it at, say, $40 a month. And um, we'll explore kind of how that works. That's all I have for the rewards page. Um, I'd love to have your ideas, what kind of rewards you'd love to see. <laughs> this will be an iterative process, but I'm kind of letting you peek under the hood of the very beginnings uh, well, so you can learn with me. So I'm on the next tab that says goals. This is where you set goals for the Patreon. The closest thing to this in Kickstarter world would be like a stretch goal. So once we reach a certain earning level or a certain number of uh, patrons, everyone gets this special prize or gift or what have you. So I set up three goals to start off. Uh, the first one's a $100 goal, and it's a patrons-only monthly Q&A episode. So I reworked that reward, and I said, plus the Q&A episode once it's on Unlocked. So this way, we'll have enough people to ask questions before I start doing the Q&A episode. Uh, the second goal is a $250 goal, and it's a community Slack channel. Uh, so once we reach $250 uh, of funding, and I'm actually thinking about changing this from a earnings goal to a uh, person goal. In fact, I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to say, once we get to 100 patrons, uh, I'll create the Slack channel. Because if we have a handful of people who are donating a lot of money, I don't want to have a Slack channel because it'll just be an empty room. Uh, so the, you know, I'm, I'm making changes as I'm explaining it to you live on the air. Uh, but the idea is Slack, uh, you can talk with other patrons of the show. You can ask questions. You can get feedback on your Patreon pages if you're wanting to get feedback from the community. 
this will be a way to do that and that will unlock once we have 100 patrons and then i have a 500 a month goal which is episode transcript so i've i've gone through this with my other podcasts transcripts are a bit of a pain uh, there's two ways to do it you can have a human do it or you can have a computer do it but when you have the computer do it you still have to have a human touch it and it's it's work and it's hassle so this one's at 500 dollars a month uh, the advantage of transcripts are not everyone likes to listen to podcasts this is going to open up the show for them if they want to be able to glance through it it also will make the show more more findable on Google and it will make it more searchable. So if you're trying to look up the answer to a certain thing that you heard a few episodes ago, once there's transcripts, uh, it makes that easier. $500 may be too much for this level. I may lower it, but right now I'm mostly focused on that $100 level and the 100 patron reward level. And I will add more goals as I get feedback from you. So again, this is the initial launch early and iterate often <laughs> model. So I'm launching this thing mostly broken. And as I get feedback from you, I'm going to make it better. I realize this isn't the best way to do it, but it's the most transparent way I can do it. And hopefully it's helpful. I just finished the thank you page. Uh, at first, I was thinking that I'd be like, oh, you have to back the Patreon for a dollar to you know, see the video or whatever. But I'm not going to do that. I think that in the purpose of full disclosure, I'll, I'll go ahead and post the audio. I'll share the audio of the video here in a second. Uh, the idea with the thank you page is to give a heartfelt thank you uh, to your patrons. And typically in the Patreon campaigns that I've backed in the past, this is not a super polished video. So to Typically, they, you get a little bit more of a behind-the-scenes view. So while the other videos I shot in my podcasting studio, so to speak, this one I shot while I was going to get the mail with my wife. There, this trash day today while I'm recording this. So there's trash cans all over our neighborhoods. So it's not super fancy. But having my wife on the video is a big deal because she's not typically one who likes to be on camera. So that's kind of like the special thank you for my patrons is that you get to see my wife and get a little glimpse behind the scenes. It's not amazing, I realize, but... It's where I'm starting. So let me roll the audio for that real quick. Hello, this is Thomas Umstad. I'm walking to get the mail with my lovely wife. Hello. Who's expecting our first baby. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for backing this Patreon page. Uh, this is very scary to do, uh, especially since a lot of you are also experienced with patron, Patreon and doing this and learning in front of you and trying to be as transparent as possible. And I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for helping to make this possible and for joining us on this adventure. And uh, we'll see you online. So that was the video, and I just shot that on my iPhone. I don't have a fancy iPhone. Uh, I've got kind of an older iPhone, but the, the video quality is great, and I just had it, held it while I was walking along the road. So it, it works. And uh, another thing real quick is that you get to write some text here. I just put, uh, thank you. The creative funding show would not be possible without you. You are an insider now, and your voice is especially important in influencing where the show goes in the future. If you have a topic you'd like us to discuss, a guest you want us to interview, or a question you want me to answer, please let me know. And then I sign it, Thomas. And with all, all three of these videos, or the, or the intro video and the thank you video, I also, while I was creating videos, created a video for the website to kind of introduce the show. I figured, why not? They, I recorded them in Camtasia, which is the same software that I use when I'm putting together a course uh, for Mac. Uh, I like it. It's pretty easy to use while being fairly powerful. It's not as powerful as like Adobe Premiere, but it, I'm able to very, very quickly make videos recorded on my webcam. Uh, the video quality is meh. You know, those of you who are YouTubers are going to cringe. I'm sorry, but I invested in lighting. So at least the lighting is good and I've got a good microphone. The focus goes in and out. I'm not sure why, but again, it's a starting point. And then what I did is I uploaded the videos to YouTube. Now this thank you video, I want to keep private. So it's an unlisted YouTube video. So really the only good way to get to this video is to back the page. You paste in the URL on the thank you page here on Patreon, and then we are good to go. So that's it. There's just one more page, the payments page, and then it's time to launch this thing. Whew, this is, I'm still in the same day. I think I've spent maybe 30 minutes uh, on the pages and probably an hour or so on the video so far. So it's, I'm still on day one here of launching this Patreon campaign. 
All right, so the uh, payments tab in the Patreon creation process is actually pretty straightforward. So the first thing it asks is, do I want to get paid monthly or per creation? And I'm selecting the per creation here, partly because I'm doing the novel marketing podcast monthly, and I want to do this one differently, uh, partly for the education. So I'm doing it both ways. Uh, And then it asks uh, you to type in kind of per what you're creating. So I just typed weekly podcast episode. So charge my patrons only when I make a paid post per weekly podcast episode. So I'll create certain paid posts that will have the podcast episode in them, and that will trigger uh, the payment. And then the next question is earnings visibility. So you can be transparent with how much money you're making, or you can keep that private. I've opted for public. A lot of YouTubers do this. Uh, Certain really popular ones don't. It can make sense in some cases to keep it private if you think that it will inspire envy and that it will cause people to hate you. Um, I'm what, this is a no-brainer for me because the whole point of this process is to be super transparent with you <laughs> as you know how Patreon works, Patreon works and how I'm making money and how much money I'm making. So I'm, I'm selecting public. And then this is an interesting change. I don't think this was the case last time I went through a Patreon uh, payment creation, but it's not asking me for my employee identification number or any of the tax info. Uh, it's, it just says, we'll ask you this information once you make some money, which is really cool. So now I'm going to go ahead and click preview and launch. This is is really scary in some ways. It's actually scary in a lot of ways because I know that you guys are, you know, wise in the ways of Patreon and I'm opening myself up to a lot of criticism. When I posted about this on one of the podcaster groups, they're like, what do you know about Patreon? I'm like, well, I've been doing it for a month. (laughs) I mean, I've been backing Patreon pages for almost since Patreon was created, but I've only been a creator for a month on my other channel or at this point, two months. That's, that's not a lot of history, but you know, I'm, I'm hoping y'all will be nice. I hope that this episode is, is interesting to you. I'm going to go ahead while we're live and click go live. So I'm clicking it. It's giving me a pop-up. Do you want to leave the site? Leave. I don't know why it asked me that. It gave me a checkbox of what I'd done and what I hadn't done, and most of the things were checked. So now we're live. (laughs) The Creative Funding Show is live on Patreon, so anyone can come and back us now, which is pretty crazy. I'm going to come back and start tweaking this uh, almost immediately, I think. Uh, But, you know, I can now create posts. I can see a list of patrons. I've got a dashboard where I can see uh, donations and, and what's come in, notifications, messages and invite creators which is what gives me the affiliate link uh, that i use on the show so uh this is kind of a shorter show uh, i realize it's a little weird it, it, normally this would be like a screencast but i will say as a huge podcast listener i really love it when people create audio things that normally would be visual so i'll see you next episode thank you all so much uh, for listening to the creative funding show and uh yeah feel free to check out the patreon page at patreon.com forward slash creative funding show and you can see what it looks like and you can see what I look like. <laughs>